video we are going to learn how to use the fixture in Cypress All right let's understand how to load a fixed set of data located in a file in this case we're gonna use a JSON file to get a well a test data set and uh, use it in different its or test scenarios uh, with Cypress it's gonna be a very interesting thing all right so let's try to understand the 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 web scenario or actually the test scenario that we're gonna see in this video we're gonna have this website which is https www.sousdemo.com in this scenario we're gonna um, try different uh, test cases all right the first one is gonna be enter a uh, correct username all right in this case i want a standard username to be the username that i want to enter let's see what is happening here all right there it is standard user and if i come and enter the correct password you will see that it is going to redirect me to the inventory html website which has the products um well this well where we have this h3 uh, or actually this diff span sorry web element with the text products so that's the first thing that I want to try. Uh, Login with uh, the correct credentials and make sure that this span has the correct word products. All right, that's the first thing. Next, I want to come here, log out, and try a, a, a dummy username. All right, Enter, entering a correct uh, and entering a correct password, you will see that we have this message here username and password do not match any user in this service and the same thing happen if i enter uh, a standard user right a, a correct username but instead of using a correct password i'm gonna try something here something dummy and i click on login i have the same same message and also if i come here and try to log in with a locked out user of course we're gonna have another message here which is gonna be epic sad face sorry this username has been locked out so let's try to convert this in a json file how we can do this so i'm gonna come here uh, i have created a file all right inside of my fixtures all right here i have a folder named fixtures right and inside of a folder name fixtures demo i have created another json file here which is gonna be named sauce credential.json here i'm gonna come here and enter and create a set of uh, key pair values all right so the, the first thing that i want to do is create a standard username all right so i can define here the correct username that i have um, that i can use that I, that I can use right in my website which is a standard user over here that's cool now i place a comma here and um i'm gonna use another or I, i'm not gonna create another value here or actually another key which is gonna be system password this is the only password that works for this login scenario right so i just wanted to call that a uh, system password and i paste the value that i need here then if i come here and i will try to look for or actually i'm gonna create a uh, the locked username right I'm gonna place here this and i just have to copy here the value of the locked out username and paste it on my json that's cool now i'm gonna create a dummy password and, and a dummy username all right just to make sure that my other scenarios are working as expected dummy test for example and i'm gonna create another key which is gonna be named dummy password that's cool that's that's good and the value will be dummy password of course that's it now i have my set of data and i uh, the, uh, now what i have to do right is going to my spec file which is going to be under integration and i have created this folder name fixture demo and inside of this folder i have this spec file which is going to be named fixtures all right so let's go ahead and create um the, the describe right because that's the first thing that we need to do in a cypress test so i'm gonna come here i'm gonna ju just call this fixtures demo for example cool and once i have done this i have to create a before each before each to well do a, a few things all right let me just show you <laughs> now i have done this and the first thing that i have to do is well actually use the cy visit command right 
to go to my website, which in, in this case is a source demo that come right there it is now if the, the next thing that i have to do is something new here in this channel we haven't seen this before so pay attention please we're gonna use this command cy that picture right and here we have to call the json file how we can do this well the the thing that we have to do is just um, well, let's let's take a look of the fixtures file, right? Or actually the fixtures folder. If we come inside of here, we're gonna see that we have three uh, default JSON files. So I decided that I wanted to have a folder named fixtures demo. So uh, Cypress is gonna be a word that my fixtures files are gonna be stored in this particular folder. So uh, in this case, if I want to use the profile JSON, which is a default one that is uh, beneath fixtures i just have to call here the 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 file right but in this case i have to call my folder fixtures demo which is this one over here now i just come here and look for the file inside of it so i have to come here place this a uh, symbol right the slash and look for the um, file which is sauce credentials and now we should be able to uh, well start working on this uh, with with the data that I have inside. All right. So what? How I can do this? I just have to use the command then, and using a, a narrow function, I'm gonna try to uh, call this credentials. All right. And I'm gonna call a, a callback function here. And inside of it, we're gonna uh, do something else. I'm gonna use the this word, and I'm gonna call this credentials it is gonna be equal to credentials what is happening here well uh, as soon as we call this punt that credentials in our test cases it is gonna be referencing the fixture file here and it is gonna able us or actually is gonna be uh, easier for us to use the this that credentials in every it um, block of code that we have in our test case so let me show you with a practical example, right? I'm gonna create an it here, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna create a test case named standard user function, and I just create the normal it that you may know, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna just, uh, well, I'm gonna start, um, well, getting the elements that I need. In this case, I need the username input and the password input here. So I'm gonna just come here, look for the input that I need, and I'm gonna use the data test attribute and value to well reference that selector in this case i just have to come here copy and paste that and type the value that i need right in this case i would do something like that uh, standard user i come copy and paste the standard user string over here however i have this data in in a json file right as you can see i have the value of a standard user in this json file and the key is a standard username so i'm gonna come here <laughs> and i'm gonna use the this that credential okay credentials <laughs> a reference that i have created in the before each hook and now using a dot and the name of the key i have access to the value that i need all right and the same thing is gonna happen for the password. I just have to come here, see why that get, look for the element over here, which is gonna be password input. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna just copy and paste this uh, attribute and the value. And now I have to come here and type the password that I want using these credentials that, for example, system password, which was the value that I have created in the json file right over here and it has the value secret sauce that's cool right i hope that you are understanding all of this now as as well i have finished this sentence right now what i have to do is click on the login button so let's go ahead and try to come here look for the login button and look for the for example well the data test attribute again so i'm going to i'm going to copy and paste this in my in my code over here mm -hmm. let me see i missed something in the line before just let me fix it there it is and i just have to call the command click over here and now 
it should be redirecting as we want. I'm gonna use a test runner over here. If you wanna learn how to run and execute your scripts headless or head in, in Cypress, please go ahead to my a playlist about uh, Cypress and you will see the difference between Cypress run and Cypress open and please subscribe <laughs> so I come here and look for the fixture demo folder I click here and you will see that it is gonna try to log in in my in the website however I have a, an issue here a fixture file couldn't be found at any of the following paths let me see what is happening here hmm. let me see and come here fixture See why the fixture, uh -huh. fixtures demo. I missed an S over here. So I come here and as you can see, well, it has a uh, well pull the data, the test data from the JSON file. It is uh, pulling the username and it is pulling also the, um, well, the password over here, right? And as soon as I clicked, you will see that it is redirecting to the inventory website that I want it to be over here. So I want to make sure that it is under or actually the, the products text that I have here is the correct one. So my test have to be aware of it. So I'm going to look for the products um, selector. I'm going to copy the title here and uh, well, I'm going to do a, a pretty simple assertion over here. I'm going to uh, look for the element using the get command, right? using the dot to reference the class and using the, the value of the class in this case is title and then i'm gonna use the function for example uh, shoot all right and inside of here i have to look for a contain for example text if i'm not wrong and i look for the text sorry products cool if i run again the website or actually the, the test right the test the script you will see that well it is actually validating if the products word is over here at the top of the website and as you will see right now i have used the taste the test data that i have static here in my fixtures file and folder actually and well uh, i'm using it for different it's let me just show you another example if i come here i create an it yeah, I'm gonna uh, call this incorrect username, all right? I'm gonna make sure that if I enter an uh, incorrect username, it is working fine, function. And uh, well, I'm gonna, just gonna place uh, that symbol there. And then I'm gonna do a pretty similar scenario, right? <laughs> the only difference will be that, uh, well, I don't want to enter with the standard username, right? I wanna use the dummy username just to make sure that the scenario is working fine. Dummy username. As you remember in the JSON file, the dummy username was dummy test. So it, it is gonna fail for, 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 for course, right? Of course. So um, in this case, the, the assertion might be different, right? Because if you enter an incorrect username and a correct password, for example, the well, it is not going to redirect anywhere and the products word is not going to be displayed. So what we have here is to validate this selector, right? Which is going to be an H3, H3. Uh, well, I'm going to just copy this uh, attribute data test error and I'm going to change it uh, from title to, well, the new selector that I need, right? Which is data test error. And the text is it is gonna is gonna change, right? It, it is gonna be epic surface username and password do not match any user in this service. That's good. That's good. And well, I haven't copied it correctly. <laughs> Let me see. There it is. Now, if I execute again my my scripts, you will see that over here, well, it is uh, executing the the steps that I just coded. And the message that I am getting is username and password do not match any user in this service as we expected. And that's cool. Now we have two different scenarios. And as you can see in the code, well, I'm using the same this credentials context to enter to the fixture file and get the data that I need. So let's go ahead and well finish this example with a couple of examples more. So I'm gonna come here, incorrect password. All right, incorrect password. In this case, I want to use the standard username, right? I want to have a correct username, but an incorrect password. So I'm going to change system password to dummy password, which is going to be in the JSON file, something like dummy password 
as the value, right? That's cool. And well, the, the message should be the same, right? Username and password do not match any username or any user in the system. And as you can see, the well, the test case is passing as expected. And I have the last scenario, right? Which was the locked out user. As you remember, if you remember correctly, I come here to the Google Chrome and I enter the locked out user and the system password, right? Because it is the only one. I come here and click on login. Well, the message is changing, right? It is saying, sorry, this username has been locked out. So I'm gonna come to the code here. I'm gonna create another it, pretty simple. Well, and, and the thing here is that I want to use the system password again, right? Because I want to reproduce the scenario as expected, but I'm not gonna use the standard username. I'm gonna use the locked username. If I'm not wrong, if I'm not wrong, it should be something like that, right? Locked username in the JSON. That's cool. So now, as you will see, well, right now the test case might be failing because I haven't changed the assertion, as you can see here. <laughs> It is expecting a username and password do not match any user in this service, but the text was, sorry, this username has been locked out. The scenario is working fine. Now that I have, that what I have to do is just update this, the error message, right? Which I need to make sure that it is saying this username has been locked out. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna change the assertion and just change the uh, wall the the text that I have here and as you will see right away I have my four test scenarios working as expected and that's cool well um, if you want to learn something very special for example if you want to learn as you can see the pattern here is pretty pretty similar right and we can we can use a single JSON file for example here to have different test cases, different username and passwords, and iterate just using the J uh, one JSON and one it, for example here, to have four different test scenarios, right? Using a for each and iterating under a same JSON file. But this is something that have to be reviewed in another video so please subscribe if you want to keep learning about cypress because we're going to be learning about comments um, well about this uh, how to read the json file and we'll make sure that all the data and all the test scenarios that we have in an array of objects are working as expected we're going to learn a lot of cypress so please subscribe let a like let me a comment in the section below and Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. Thank you very much and see you in, this, in the next one. Bye-bye.